Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am sorry I haven't been uploading any videos. It's because I was on vacation for about two and a half weeks. Went to California, Sacramento, El Grove, Tahoe, Monterey, Salinas, Fairfield. I went pretty much, not a lot in the city, but just, you know, just Northern Cal, not Southern Cal, but I did a lot of makeup shopping. I didn't do any clothing at all like no clothing shopping at all I wanted to mainly focus this trip on makeup so I bought a whole bunch of stuff from CVS Walgreens Ulta and this place called Pinky Rose so if you guys want to see what I got then please keep on watching oh and you guys are probably wondering like I'm sure she should have a vlog video of everything that she's done for her trip obviously I did it was 20 minutes long went home and try to edit it and add all these like music and something happened and I lost some footage basically it only showed like five minutes in the video that was it I was really sad I'm not gonna put it up but just to let y'all know I don't have a boyfriend no more I have a fiance he proposed in Tahoe super excited can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him but I just want to let y'all know that no vlog for this trip sorry Okay, so I bought hella stuff, like hella. So I'm just gonna get straight into the video. Went to Pinky Rose, Ulta, and then I just put my CVS and Walgreens all together. So let me just show you guys the boring stuff, the drugstore makeup that we don't have in Hawaii yet. So I went a little cray cray and got Wet n Wild Fergie. This is a coral color in brush with destiny it's like a mauvey coral color as you guys can see i also got the wet and wild velvet matte lip color fergie line in timeless chick and that is the color it's like a mauvey dark brown color it's pretty and they say it's matte but as you guys can see there's a sheen to it so it's kind of like satin you know I also got that in another color in transcendence and this is like a brownie pink color this is such fall colors I don't know why I got it I just thought it was so unique also I got the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Lengthening Mascara. I haven't used the the one I got at Kmart. It was the purple one. But I wanted to give this a go. And I got Jordana's Dark Brown Eyebrow. I don't know why I got this. It's because I like to line my eyebrows first with um, a dark brown pencil and then I use my Anastasia dip brow pomade okay and I got the Jordana liner it looks cool it looks like one of those like liners like those pointed ones but it's actually a small little liquid so that's pretty cool wanted to try it looks pretty dark okay what else I also got Jordana's modern matte lipstick have you guys seen these i've seen it on like couple hauls in the mainland and i was like that is so cool i got this in color matte blush and there it is it's like a nice mauvey light pink i also got another color like that it's called matte dark also the jordana mattes and look at that color. That looks like Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Fairy or Max Rebel dupe. Also, I got the Milani Bella Sand Shimmer. This is a gel powder eyeshadow. But I've heard a lot of reviews that this color can also be like a highlighter color as well for um, darker olive tones. So sorry, I didn't want to swatch it because I didn't really open it, but that's that. Also, I got a blush in number three, Berry Amour. I haven't swatched it yet, but I just want to show you guys. 
What else did I get? Oh, I got the Rimmel Provocateur, uh, Pro -pro Provocalypse, sorry. And this guy's, I've, if you guys like go on and check people's channels and like look this up on YouTube, this stuff doesn't budge, like legit. I tried it on my finger or like on my hand and literally, it, I had to scrub the crap out of it with like those soapy things, like those like, how do you explain it? But it didn't want to come off and this stuff, and it comes with like a lock and seal um, like gloss over. It is unreal. So I got this in Skinny Dipping 700. It looks pretty nude, but it's really not. Which is good because I don't like a really nude lip because it will like me, make me look kind of ashy and washed out. Also, I got... No, I didn't get that at all um, over there. The Infallible Pro Matte in 107 Fresh Beige. They didn't have this and I was waiting for it to come in CBS, but they never had it. But I saw it over there and I was like, I have to get it. So, I got this. And the Makeup Academy, if you notice, they have um, Makeup Academy. This was buy one, get one free. So I had a lip gloss and a lipstick. This one's in Flesh. It's like a nudie color. And this one, lip gloss in Lip Satin Rose. It's like a mauve pink color. Because I love my nudes. So yeah, that was the CVS Walgreens. Okay, so my next one is Ulta. And the biggest thing I got there was the Umberto Beverly Hills color. If you guys see that, 7.43. It's in red cayenne. I am planning on dyeing my hair red. I don't know when, but there's two applicators. It comes all with a conditioner treatment, the color, also the developer. So it's all in one, two applicators. I'm excited I got this. I wanted to order this all online, but thank God I just got it there. They had my color, so I'm excited. Also, I got, okay, this was not at Ulta. I got the Milani Bella Cappuccino. This is just a satin matte transition um, color. So I have that. My friend, Tracy. Thanks, Tracy, Crystal Ball. She works at Ulta and she gets all these samples or like new stuff that's coming in that they have to just test it out. So she got me the It's Real Push Up Liner. I think this is I think this is the regular size one, yeah. So I'm excited to use this. I just have to buy the remover because I've seen reviews on the removers and that's the that stuff legit is like it won't smear at all. So if I'm gonna try this, I gotta buy the remover. Also, I got the Anastasia brush number 12, the duo, because I love my spoolies and my angled sharp. I love me some sharp sharp stuff for my tip brows so i got that also i got the nyx micro pe brow pencil and this one is in color chocolate chocolate and i have the mario badesto skincare facial spray with alloy herbs and rose water i've had i've heard so much about this my girl also had a small travel and she made me try it and it's so refreshing so you guys go pick this up on ulta this is the bomb.com this stuff was ten dollars i believe the smaller was like five or seven so got the bigger size also i got the real techniques bold metals collection flat contour blush brush look at that that's perfect for contour to have that definite line so i'm excited to have this brush i do have a morphe stiff brush but it's so stiff that it leaves like a harsh line that it's hard to blend out so i figure this is more like a looser like contour so i figure i'll give this a try um essence i love stage I've never owned Essence. I've heard so much about it on, on everyone's channel. And this is an eye base primer. And this is, matches my skin tone. I think this is in number... It doesn't say. I think there's a light one or a dark one. This is my dark one. So that's a cool base. Also, I have the Rimmel Show Off Matte Collection. Red Velvet in Mediocre Matte. Ooh, yes. 
Do you see that, guys? And it's supposed to dry matte, but we'll see. Also, I have the Matte Ulta Lip Cream in Stirring. How exciting because I love my dark lips. I do. There it is right there. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh. And I have the Glam Liner, y'all. This is the only repurchase that I bought. Everything else is like new. I haven't gotten it. But this Glam Eyeliner is to die for this is like a liner you can put on top of your black eyeliner like if i can put this all over my black this is the perfect shade especially for neutral colors so i had to repurchase that also i have the l'oreal paris i don't know exactly what it says i took off the sticker but this is in 107 and it's supposed to be like a matte like it's supposed to be matte and then you put the gloss this gloss over like this glossy thing over when it dries so oh my god like how pretty that mauve color looks so that is it right there and also i got the anastasia dip brow in soft brown because chalk i'm using chocolate but it was too dark for me so i figure i'll use soft brown since these are the newer colors that came out and that was it for Alta. Went to Pinky Rose and got lots of goodies. Okay, let me just show you guys the brush. I only got two brushes because I wanted a pencil brush and they were out of it. And I also wanted this highlighter brush, but they were out of it. So I was kind of sad, but at least I got a couple brushes. So I got the Morphe M507. This is like a pointed detailing brush, which is like, it's perfect to get in the, like the, what you, in the smaller outer crevices with like darker colors so I got that also you know I can't leave without a, a buffing brush because I love to buff my makeup or my um, if, if I don't want to use the beauty blender I use a buffing brush to buff out my foundation so I got the M what is this one called MB 39 all right I also got this Italia Deluxe Ultra Fine Eyeliner in Turquoise and boom look at that this is perfect for um, spring and summer times to have like a pop of color underneath so that is a bomb color right also I got this color in mauve oh that's kind of dark but it's like a dark rosy um, mauve -y. Got that right there. Also, I got these J-Cats Wonder Lip Paints. This is kind of like the OCC Lip Tars from Sephora, but this is hella cheaper. So I got this in, where is the name? Golden Afternoon, number 136. And this is just like a red color, dark red. Really pretty. Also, oh my God, look, it just totally stained. Yikes, I'm getting nervous. I don't want it to stain my hand. Also, I got another, this is a nudie color in Mimsy. Like that. And this is more like a natural brown color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Like a neutral brown color. Perfect. So I got my dark and my light. Every time I get a lip paint, I also have the dark or a light color. Also, I got the Pro Primer, the LA Girl. This is in, I think this is in natural. Nude, sorry. This is in nude. You guys can see. It's not white. It's just a nude base. So for my eyelids, I, this stuff is really good. I've seen it on pretty um, popular women on YouTube that use this. And hey. I'm gonna give it a try. Also, my shadow shield. Um, if you guys follow Maya Mia, she made these. So I'm excited to try this. There is, I believe, 30 shields in here. I think, or something like that. I think there is 30. Yeah, 30 shields. So 
excited. If you guys don't know what this is, you put this under your eye to have a defined crisp line and you can use it as a liner. And it's also good for a lot of pigment that falls down and you already done your foundation. So you put this over so it doesn't mess up your other, your makeup. So yeah. Also, I got the City Color Be Matte Blush in Papaya. And it's also another coral color. And I got the LA Pro Concealer in Medium Beige for my brightening highlight, brightening underneath my eye. And I also got the Z Palette. This is an extra large. I used to have all these shadows in my MAC one, but since I have so much matte colors, I just got an extra large palette. So, yes, all my mattes are all in here. And last but not least, my last item, I have the Vera Mona. Have you guys heard of the color switch? It's basically a can. When you open it, it has like this weird, like, how do you, I don't even know what you call this, but um, if you're basically using the same brush, and you dip it in and then you you basically take out the color and then you put it and you use it for another color so this is good to just use one brush it it cancels out the color to put on another one so I'm stoked I got this I've been wanting this for so long and finally got it but that concludes the end of my haul you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it please like it subscribe share my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one all right bye bye